Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, as we come into this day, we pray for peace in our day. We pray for peace around ourselves and the peace that comes with understanding. So help us to appreciate those that are in our life, even if they're there for a moment, even if it's a it's a passing interaction. Lord, let them know grace from us. Let us experience peace from them. And let us have fellowship in all these moments. Lord, let us in 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 the times in work, in the times in in, in travel, let us always look for ways to be the church, to be together in Christ, to have those moments be praise, to have our lives reflect praise, and Lord, that that experience and that goal will grow. It'll go out from from us to grow the church, to grow the church in real ways, not just not just buildings, not just institutions, but Lord, the real ways that we are your church, that all these different ways of being Christians seek to be, Lord, lead us to that way, which is Christ. And Lord, we ask we beg, we pray this day for healing, for we've gotten hurt along our way. Sometimes we've done terrible hurt to those we love the most, and we've even hurt ourselves, especially when we do not love one another as we love ourselves. So Lord, help us in seeking to, to bring you praise. Lord, help us to, to bring each other joy, to bring a moment of faith, an interaction, and a discussion of truth, Lord, to bring all these things, all the work we do, all the thoughts we think, to bring it all in praise. Lord, let us do that now as we turn to your word. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And praying for the peace that is in God's word, turning to the book of James, chapter 5, reading at verse 8. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. And this is coming from a, a longer discussion in James about what it means to be patient. It expands a lot on the idea of what Paul said to the Corinthians about the, the patience of love and charity. To have that from our hearts, from our core, that, that deep feeling of compassion, love, and understanding, to have that so deeply planted that, one, when the day of the Lord comes, and a lot of people are afraid for that day of the Lord right now, but when the day of the Lord does truly come, we, we won't question it, we won't fear it, we won't doubt it, we will be ready. And, and that's what James is really seeking to get across, to have a clear understanding of, of the life and tasks that are truly going to be meaningful in eternity. He wants our faith to be evident to the, sign, the signs of faith, though they are, they're not earning their ways into heaven. Those signs of faith are, are ample and ready to show our praise and to help others see that praise so that they can discover Christ in their life too. And finally, in that nature it takes to be the church, as we are gathered together awaiting Christ, takes patience. And that might mean facing a decision that's there now or waiting to another time to, to know that God's word, God's truth, will be evident. God bless and keep you. Amen.